Wow. Well, this is definitely the spot. What a place this is. Hi guys, welcome back to another Yonder Mountain Adventure. I'm up in the Highlands of Scotland and I've just come across the most beautiful spot. This is the River Orkney, down Glen Orkney, leading up the Bridge of Orkney. And I've got the car just parked over there and this is the first night of my three night wild mission here in the Highlands of Scotland. And I'll tell you what, I'm in need of a bit of prescription nature. It doesn't get much better than this. Wow. Oh, this is fantastic. Thistles everywhere. Lovely running stream here. Water's clear as out. Oh. Perfect. After a four and a half hour drive. Well, this is a shame. Obviously people have been here and uh, there's a couple of big fire pits here. Now there's no signs around to say that this is private land or private fishing. I'm not fishing by the way, um, but it's such a beautiful area and um, it's just been abused again with massive fire pits. Uh, I might do something to clean these up a little bit because there's actually litter left here and all. But anyway, forget about that for the time being. Uh, what a place, what a place. Absolutely un unbelievable, it's a really good find this. The weather's just starting to come in. It's very atmospheric here down the glen. And I've got a flat area just over here where I'm going to pitch the tent. I went for something mega easy. Now I've already done a review of the Nightcat pop-up tent. Um, I'll put a card in, in the, uh, the top corner. You can click and watch our video if you haven't already. Uh, it gives a review of this. This isn't a review, this is going to be the first proper um, road test of this one. I'm going to spend the night in this one tonight. Um, tomorrow night, I'm going to be at a different location somewhere in the Highlands here and I'm going to test out on an overnighter the Decathlon tent, which was also another video which I've done. I did the two back to back in consecutive weeks. So we'll, dry, uh, we'll road test the Decathlon one tomorrow night. And then what I'm going to do for the third night is the one which I like the best, whether it's the Nightcat or the Decathlon, I'm going to use that again for the third night here in the Highlands. And talk about perfect timing just as the rain's starting to come down. I'll just be able to bang this up within about three seconds. Perfect. Let's get it going. Fantastic. Right, we'll give this another go. Whoa, it's already up. Oh. Whoa, it's already up. <laughs> it's already up, it's as quick as that. Wowza. Sprung. Sprung to life. <laughs> How easy is that? No bother. And now I can just move it around to wherever I want. But I do want it facing the river, really. So I think I'll go for something like that. Hey, wow, what well, are you seeing as it's lashing down guys? Good test for the waterproofing of this thing. That's sure, look at that. Um, anyway, set the poles up at the same height, of course, double-ended loop. I'll show you that, just on a bit of paracord on both ends. And that allows me then to get this thing thoroughly pegged out. Perfect. Now I'm going to get myself sat under there and look out the river. Fantastic. Oh, let's get the mat out. It's a familiar routine. Getting the gear sorted. Oh, 
Fantastic. You can see the amount of room that we've got here. With me crawling around in here. Flex tail, tiny pump, X2. Cracking, bit of kit. Up there's a the light. Double click. That'll just jump to life now. Oh, lovely. I'll open this window as well, actually. While I'm on. Champion. Now that can go up there. Well guys, I didn't take too long. It's so much easier when there's bags of space. I've got my bed set up here and there's another, and I haven't even got it up to the wall neither, or up to the side of the tent. Uh, I've probably got another five foot there. <laughs> it's absolutely massive. And it's so lovely being able to sit here with the door open. This is completely waterproof. I've got the canopy up looking out over the river. It's absolutely beautiful. Prescription nature at its best. This is exactly what I was looking for. Sometimes I haven't, you know, there's not too much going on, but sometimes, you know, with work stress and, you know, various other things that go on, sometimes it feels like it gets on top of you a little bit. It's normal, it's natural, isn't it? And for me, and I would argue for everybody, this is the only way to just discharge and just, uh, and just unwind and just kind of focus on who you are again. Absolutely class. Anyway, time's getting on a little bit, the light's dipping, but that's because the cloud's in and it's absolutely pissing down. Uh, I'm starting to think about food. <laughs> I've got a fine array of food here. I'll just go handheld for this. Now what I like to do is have my cooking and food gear near the door. And then the other end, I'll show you around a little bit more later, but this is basically the food situation. I've got a few different ones. I've got an Adventure Foods one. Uh, actually, that looks like it's a chocolate mousse. Wayfarers, peri peri chicken, meatballs and pasta. Oh yeah, belter. Korean beef, my favourite. Get in. And this is from Decathlon, this one. Rice and chicken curry. I've got a water bottle. I've got my me, uh, me little dry bag where I keep various bits and bobs in there. Things like electricals and uh, other food things. I've got my Decathlon stainless steel cup. That's an absolute belter. No alcohol, heather tea for me. I've got my firebox, I'll be using that a bit later. The Etna pocket rocket or whatever it's called. Go all geared up, I've got my foldable cup there if I need any for anything. And I've got my water filter. Well basically, this is the situation. I'm going to sit here, I'm going to make myself a heather tea from filtered water from the river. And I'm just going to sit and soak up the sights and sounds. Oh guys, it's torrential. Absolutely torrential. This is beyond pissing it down. I've now got an indoor swimming pool. That's how waterproof this thing is. There's not a drop of water inside here. Let's get rid of this. I've collected some water from the river and um, filtered it and I also took a little bit of runoff from the tent as well. I've got plenty of water like but it's just uh, it's quite nice doing that type of thing isn't it. It's time for a, another heather tea. Get this on the go now. 
There's plenty of ventilation, the door's open. I've got the bug mesh. Incidentally, this bug mesh is actually stopping the midges from coming in as well. And it's mega hot in here. But I'll tell you what, it might be pissing down, but it's absolutely fantastic. Sitting here, listening to the sound of this on the tent. Watching the water coming down. Watching the river flowing. And it's, uh, it's about as relaxing as it can get. This is exactly what I was after. Absolutely class. Just taking a, a little bit of time out the tent. Oh, hey, that tea is absolutely lovely. Hey, that tea. Hey, it is lashing down. I'm just taking a little bit of cover here under the uh, under the tree. Absolutely lovely. These are silver birch trees, and they're absolutely lovely. Under normal conditions, you can scrape away some of the bark when it's dry. Uh, and it makes for really good fire starting material, as a lot of you will already know. Hey dear, what an experience. This is uh, amazing. There's quite literally nothing on my mind whatsoever. Not at all. Absolutely lovely. I'm going to, um, hopefully, this will die off just a little bit. And I've brought the firebox. And I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get a little little very small controlled fire. I'm not gonna use these fire pits which are already here. Although I'm gonna pick up the litter. And I'm uh, even if it is still pissing down, I can sit under the um, under the porch. And I'll just have a little controlled fire here. Um, and that'll be just something something nice, especially when it gets a bit darker. It'll be give a nice atmosphere. And then I'm just gonna uh, make my mind up on what I'm having for my tea. I've got about five or six different options. Mental. Mmm. Now this is prescription nature. Absolutely fantastic. Well, this is certainly very welcome. Not that it's particularly cold, but I am wet from um, mooching around outside and just getting caught in the rain. That's absolutely lovely. I'm going to uh, make my mind up on what I have for tea. <laughs> I'm going to have that. And then I'm going to um, spend a bit of time down by the river, I think, and just kind of chill out. The sound of the river is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely lovely. And then, it's going to be an early night. And then we'll see how the tent performs. Uh, the forecast is, uh, is for torrential rain through the night as well. So that's going to be, it's already, the tent's already had about four hours of constant torrential rain. And it's done champion. I'm really, really pleased with that. Really pleased. And I'm in for a good night's kip. Because the sound of the rain on the tent, that'll be, that'll be me done. Absolutely amazing. Right, I'm going to soak this up and I'll see you at tea time. Oh boy. It's, uh, it's never stopped raining. I managed to get like about... 15 minutes out of the fire and uh, then I had to retire it was pretty class like sitting under the um, under the porch to be honest it was uh, it was really good uh, it's definitely tea time now like for sure so what I'm gonna do is have me Korean beef Whoop. oh dear uh, and I'm gonna have me chocolate mousse so we'll get on, on to the go and um, it's about quarter ten at night. I'm not really that tired because I've had about 25 cups of heather tea. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm 
So I'm going to read a book. I've got a great book actually. Ken Gorman John. Um, he was a, a mountain rescue guy and climber up in the Cairn Gorms. So I'm going to read that. That looks like it could be a really good book. Looking forward to that. Right, let's get the show on the road. We'll get some tea on the go. I'm not going to show you, uh, you don't need to sit through me eating me tea. I'm going to have this and I'm going to read my book and I'm going to retire. So guys, I'm going to say good night and God bless. I'll see you in the morning at coffee time. Probably in the pissing rain. Good night. Right, let's get this on the go. Well, morning guys, good morning. What a night that was. Um, I've actually had a remarkable sleep. It's the sound of the rain, although um, that was absolutely torrential. Absolutely torrential, all night. I woke up a couple of times, um, just with the, um, probably, really just with the, the sound. It was, it was noisy, uh, but went immediately back to sleep. And uh, the tent, oh, oh. I can't remember the last time I've actually even been out or even seen rain like that. Never mind being in a tent and a pop-up tent for that matter. Um, big kudos to the Nightcat pop-up tent. Absolutely top class, I think. Oh boy, the midges are ferocious this morning. Now that the, uh, the rain's died off, they're going absolutely ballistic. I'm just uh, cooking up some breakfast here before I move on to my next spot for tonight's camp which will be in the Decathlon MH100 three person tent so I'm looking, at that, looking forward to that hopefully the rain's not going to be as biblical although it will be a good tent, uh, test for that tent as well we'll see how it goes but I'm just going to cook up some breakfast um, the river level is, uh, is really high this morning in fact, I'm pleased I'm up on an elevated pitch here because otherwise that could have been quite interesting. <laughs> wow! Yeah, unreal. I'm gonna, uh, I've got some lawn sausage here. I'm gonna get these cooked up. Got a couple of nice soft buns here, and that'll do me champion. Oh wow, lawn sausage. Mmm, hot a bit. Oh, the midges, unbelievable. Right, guys, that's me just about done for this video. What an experience! I hope you've enjoyed that one as much as I have. I'm going to finish off these. <laughs> I'm going to strike camp, which won't take long at all. Two figure eights and this thing's down and packed away. I will, I've got a microfiber cloth, I'll just give it a wipe down on the outside. There's a little bit of condensation, which you always get with single skin shelters, but not much. Give it a wipe down, get it packed away. And I'm going to head a little bit further north for tonight's adventure. So I hope you enjoy that video too so I'm going to sign off folks you know exactly what's coming next <laughs> forget about the news on the radio Facebook newspapers broadcasting all the doom and gloom mainstream media 
does nothing but bring you down. However, coming out into beautiful green places like this and enjoying the sights and the sounds and the smells of the forest and the great outdoors resets you, makes you feel a whole lot better every single time. Get out and enjoy some prescription nature. So I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Thanks for coming along. If you like this type of thing, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this up in the Highlands in Northumberland. Tent reviews and gear reviews. Do consider subscribing, the content's always coming along. Channel's coming on great. Big thank you to my existing subscribers and a big hello to all you new guys coming along as well. Much appreciated. So tonight, sorry, last night was the first of the three nights. So I was in the night cat, of course. Tomorrow's in the decathlon. The one that I like out the two, out the two the best, I'll spend the third night in. Fantastic. <laughs>